Today I want to talk to you about a subject that's quite complicated. We're going to talk about yarn weight and which yarn fits which punch needle. Even I still struggle with this subject, but I've got a trick and it helps me every time, so I hope it will help you too. These are some of my favorite yarns to work with with punch needle. So as you can see, these are different sizes and they work with different punch needles. So what I'm going to do now is take a look at these labels and see what they say and see what we can learn from them when we have to choose a yarn for a specific size punch needle. So this is a 50 gram ball of wool yarn. So if you take a look at the label, you can see different kinds of information on there. For example, this is a stitch gouge that is mainly of interest to knitters and I think also crocheters. And you can see something about the knitting needles that you would use when knitting with this yarn. So in the US you would need size 6 to 7, in the UK 8 to 7 and in Europe I think we say something about the millimeter, so 3 to 4 millimeters. So when I was just starting out I would use this metric as an indication which punch needle would be suitable. But I noticed that sometimes this is not very reliable. So over here you can see the weight as we said before, 50 grams, and it is 160 meters long. So if we take a look at the next yarn, this is a wool silk blend. This is also a skein of 50 grams and there is 135 meters on this skein. So the previous one was 160 meters and this one is 135 meters. We're going to ignore the stitch gouge as this is of no interest to punch needle. Then we're going to look at the needle size and it says for European needles 5 to 6 millimeters. So that is quite a bit bigger than the previous one even though it's about the same size. So if you look at the size of this yarn, it's really quite thin and this one is as well. If you look at the next label, look at the needle size, it says here uh, US needle 6 to 8, 4 to 5 millimeters in Europe. On the previous one it said 4 to 6 US, so that's smaller than this one, and 5 to 6 millimeters, so that is bigger than this one. I actually noticed this inconsistency more often and it got me really confused. This metric didn't seem very reliable and I decided to look further and to see what could really help me. I only look at the weight and the length of yarn that is on the skein. If you look at this one, it says 100 grams and 200 meters. So the previous one was in skein of 50 grams. So if we were to transfer that to 100, I would have 270 meters of yarn. And in this case, it would be 200. So the less meters or yards on a skein in ratio to the weight of the skein or the ball of yarn, the bigger the yarn because the bigger yarn takes up more weight so you get less yardage on your skein. So that is the rule and that is what's going to help us decide which yarn fits which punch needle. Whoa the sun is really, I'm sorry I'm pinching my eyes. <laughs> So that's what I decided to look at from now on. I've looked at the amount of meters on each skein as if it were a ball of 100 grams so that we can compare them with each other. And then we get these metrics. So 70 meters, 120 meters, 200 meters, 270 meters and 320 meters. So this is uh, on this skein if it were a ball of 100 grams instead of 50 grams 
we would have 320 meters and so on. So you can see that the thinner the yarn gets, the more meters are on one skein. Usually when you have a pattern of something you want to knit or crochet or maybe you need a specific size for a specific punch needle, then you have a name or a number of that weight of yarn that you need. But these are usually not on the labels, which makes it complicated. And to make it even more complicated, these are very different in different countries. In the US, for example, they work with numbers from zero to six. Six being very heavy weight yarn, zero being like lace weight, really small. Or they work with names like super bulky or medium or lightweight. And you even get names like worsted, sport weight or DK weight. And it's like, where is the common ground? Why is there not one system that will help us determine which yarn fits which category? And that would make it so much easier, but there is not. It's a week later now, I just had COVID and my voice was completely gone so I couldn't continue with the video but I'm all better now so I wanted to pick up the video where I left off but I've been struggling with this video so hard guys I don't know why maybe I find it too complicated to explain or I don't really know what it is that I'm actually trying to say here so I'm going to cut out a whole piece that I made about all the different names and stuff I don't feel like listing all these names is going to help you very much I'm just going to tell you my trick right now it was probably already very clear I just look at this weight versus length ratio I have these favorite yarns and there comes this really bright sun again I have all these favorite yarns which I just showed you and they fit with different punch needles that I have which I will also show you in a minute and when I get new yarn I just look at this metric and compare it to the ones that I already have and ballpark it and they will never be the exact same yardage on one skein they will be maybe 10 20 30 meters off but I will know that it will probably fit and if it doesn't, then I have a different punch needle that will fit. I have a lot of punch needles, so for me that's quite easy. But I do want to warn you, this is not a guarantee. Um, yarns are made in different ways and with different materials. Some are single ply, some are twisted, and that can make them more chunky than maybe they are if you look at the length of the yarn. Uh, wool yarn is probably less heavy than cotton yarn, for example, and that will make a huge difference. Let me first talk about the finer yarns that I just showed you. Finer yarns, we can work with the small laver punch needle. This punch needle comes in a set. So you have a handle, a threader, and then three size punch needles. The size given in the instruction on the laver needles for each punch needle is one millimeter, two millimeters, and three millimeters. So that is the size they give the punch needles. And then these are the size yarns that correspond with them. So the smallest one, one millimeter, will work with the embroidery floss. This yarn, uh, which is the 320 meter one, is also called number two in the US, fine or sport weight. So that is the one which will work with the two millimeter needle, the middle one of the set. Then we have this yarn, which will work with the three millimeter needle. And this was 270 meters. This would be categorized as number three or lightweight, DK weight or light worsted weight. So if you find a yarn which um, has a particular weight name and corresponds with the yardage of the skeins that I'm showing you right here, you can be quite certain that they will fit these particular needles. It's important to realize that um, this yarn, for example, is quite fluffy and I also have yarns, for example, this cotton yarn, 
um, which is quite dense and it still works with this needle but it's a bit um, yeah it's still it's a bit it makes it a bit more difficult so fluffy yarns are usually a little bit easier to work with the next needle is the adjustable punch needle also the laver punch needle which looks like this and the instruction says that it is a four millimeter needle so that is what works with this kind of yarn so if we look at the metrics this one was 200 meters this would be classified as a number four yarn or a medium weight yarn and other names would be worsted or Aran yarn and what might be nice to say is that this one also works with the largest needle of uh, this one so it's it's not always an exact science so it works with this one but the four millimeter one works better this yarn is a little bit more dense but i also have this lovely yarn which is also Aran weight um, the length of this yarn is 120 meters for 100 grams, which is a lot less than uh, the 200 meters of this one. But because it's quite squishy, uh, it will also work with this needle. So that's what I mean when I say that yarns are made differently. This one is very twisted and quite thick. This one is really uh, squashy, which is a bit difficult to show you on camera. Uh, another example would be the uh, fine Oxford uh, punch needle in size fine. Uh, that would be about the same size as this one. So it would work with the same kind of yarns. Then we have the largest size laver punch needle. It will come in a ergonomical needle like this with a large handle or it could come with a handle like this. And this one is said to be five and a half millimeters. So that would work with chunky or bulky yarn. So the metrics of this yarn, these two yarns, so this one is 120 meters and that is a category five yarn, bulky weight or chunky weight. This one is 70 meters. This one would categorize as a number six yarn, super bulky. Uh, or bulky depends on which country you're in and these would both work with the five and a half millimeter yarn or the regular oxford punch needle so we have a fine and a regular this one will go really smooth and this yarn would even work probably with the fine needles this yarn is a little bit thicker and it has some different thicknesses to it so a little bit thinner here thicker here and it will work but it's very important to use the right fabric for it so if you want to know more about fabrics and which yarn works with which fabric then I suggest you watch this video now that would be really helpful